Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining my channel. So today we are doing a fashion and beauty haul. And as the title and thumbnail suggests, we are going to start with Louisa Villaroma. So I have a nice healthy size order from Louisa Villaroma. Um, they were having, they are still having a sale as a matter of fact. Um, this is where you find some really great designer brands or name brands for, for less um, when they have these really amazing sales. So I went on just kind of browsing and I wasn't looking for anything in particular. I just thought, you know, what, what blows up my skirt right now? So I found a few things that I really like. So it comes obviously in their um, branded box, nicely packaged. Um, and I bought a few things. I bought, um, you know, a couple pairs of shoes and then also something else that they put in their own Louisa Villaroma dust bag, which I appreciated because it could have gotten pretty messed up since it wasn't packaged. So I appreciated that bit. Um, so we'll, we're gonna go ahead and start with, let's start with the question mark, what's in the Louisa Villaroma bag. So the thing that's in this bag is a, I don't know what the word is, but belt bag, bum bag, uh, fanny pack, whatever. But this one is a Fila one. Um, you guys know I've been digging the retro throwback brands lately um, and I am absolutely loving this um, thing here. So it could fit my phone. I, I was thinking about this in terms of like festivals and stuff like that. This is pretty cool. So it has actually even a little pocket on the inside for extra things. It fits, it fits my phone. I just held my phone up to it to see if it'll fit. I love that it's white. The belting has um, fila, you can't even see, it has fila embroidered in it. Um, this is nice and the price was right. I can't remember what the price was, but I will link as much as I can in the description box below. Um, it's so funny, this is so egregious. Like just this so that you don't wear it and you, you return it after you wear it. They put all this like tags on there and stuff. So they, like if it's gone or removed, then you can't return it. So, but this is, just ridiculous. <laughs> the next item I got was a pair of sneakers that I did not need, but I really did love. Um, these are a pair of Converse sneakers. What drew me to these sneakers was the fact that it has this sort of Frankenstein stitching on it. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but um, it has this like Frankenstein stitching on it, this multicolor thing going. And it's the same quality as the sort of Comme des Garçons uh converse sneakers that are out i was I, I, it looked like that on the website so that's why i went on and bought these but it has that similar quality um and these are i forget what these are called though there there is a name to these i don't know i'm gonna have to link it down below but there is a sort of a, a name for this style of uh converse sneaker um it comes with two pairs of laces here it has the white and the cream which is awesome so I can decide on which Frankenstein color I want to portray <laughs> that day but I thought these were really cool um definitely says Rocky feels somewhat feels a spot in my wardrobe because I don't have any white high top sneakers so yes but I didn't I didn't need any more sneakers you guys know I spent the better part of this pandemic um, collecting sneakers. I have so many now that I don't have space for them anymore. So now I'm going to have to make some hard decisions on if I need to get rid of some of the ones that I actually still love. So I'm in a bad situation. And I got another pair of sneakers. This one is a brand that I have never had before. The brand is Asics. And Asics, these are like, I don't know if these are running shoes or not because they don't really quite the bottom of them are flat. They don't look like running shoes. But the reason why I got them is because I've been on the hunt for green and or yellow um, sneakers and this has a bit of both. I really like this. Um, see if I can get close enough to show you this detail. Normally you have just like a flat tongue that comes up through the sneaker. This one is like a split or hooved tongue. And so this has like a split or hooved tongue here in the middle. I thought that was a really neat touch. Um, but the, the green and the yellow is what got me. And I'm really excited about trying a new brand of shoe. You would think that by this point in my life, I would have worn every brand there is to wear. 
but this is my first time getting a pair of ASICs. So next we're moving on to beauty. You might remember some time ago I was dabbling with perfumes and I've gotten some as gifts and I went and got like, last, uh, was it two years ago? I tried waft.com where you kind of make a customized scent. And then I tried Dossier, which is a company that does like dupes or replicas of um, designer brand uh, perfumes. You'll remember that I did purchase three. I got a floral rose, which is a dupe of the La Labo Rose 31. I got the Floral Pear, which is a dupe of the Jo Malone English Pear in Freesia. And then I got the Powdery Hawthorne, which is a dupe of the Tom Ford Metallique. You can tell by how much is left in each of these bottles, um, <laughs> which were my favorites. Um, floral Rose is my favorite, Floral Pear is the second. And then Powdery Hawthorne, I don't like at all. Um, my, even my husband doesn't like this one, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this bottle of perfume. Maybe offer it to someone else who finds it appealing, but I do not. Um, these two, the Floral Rose and Floral Pear, I get compliments on all the time. So, I, and, and I like it myself, so I don't walk around stinking to myself and get compliments, but I like it myself and I get tons of compliments. So I really like that and I told you guys I really like having that, like, that, that effect, you know. So I decided to try Dossier one more time. So I went and got three more, um perfumes uh, they give you like special deals when you get um, more than one you can get one five I forget maybe ten and the more you get the cheaper they are so I went and got um, uh, so I, I splurt not splurge a bit I took some risks in terms of what I chose um, the very first one here the Carolina Herrera um, I wasn't sure I was gonna like it. Well, I chose it because it has almond in it and I like the smell of almond oil. I like this, it's a very sweet, nice um, smelling, like mild and feminine smelling um, perfume. My husband on the other hand thinks it's, it smells a bit too mature for me. But I, I actually really like the smell. Um, it's this, uh, it's called Flor Floriental Almond on the bottle, but it's inspired by Carolina Herrera Good Girl Eau de Parfum. So I really like it and I will be wearing it, I think, unless hubby like gags <laughs> when I wear it. But this was his least favorite of the three. This next one is uh, called Floral Peony and I like this because I love lilies. That's one of the top notes and the middle note had rose and freesia and I like both of those. Um, I was concerned because the base notes have musk and cedar wood and base notes are the notes that last the longest. So I'm just like, if I don't like those two, why would I, you know? So anyway, I took a risk because the, the you know, obviously I love peony, I love lily and I thought I'd try it anyway. Um, and I absolutely love it. It smells amazing. I will definitely rock this. It's like a day, for me, a day smell. Um, um, this is inspired by Chloe, Chloe Eau de Parfum, so I like this one. And this last one is my favorite. I've been seeing a lot of influencers wearing this one. Well, not this one, but this one is called Oriental Vetvir. Vet <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't read. Oriental Vetvir, and this one is inspired by Bayredo Baldefric Eau de Parfum. And this one... Um, to me it smells very evening and sexy and just all woman um i wasn't sure i was gonna like this because um one of the base notes is cedar wood however everything else i kind of i kind of do like um i i think amber always is like evening and sexy right so that one got me for one of the base notes and then everything else was like things that i think i like you know um vi uh, violet marigold um, bergamot I kind of like that you know so I was like I could, I could deal with the other things and the amber if that's what lasts I'm gonna be a fan of this and this turned out to be my favorite this is also my husband's favorite so I um, definitely like this one put on a little nail oh yes I feel all the way grown up wearing this one. So again, I think the last time I made this recommendation, I'm going to make this recommendation again. If you want to test drive some of the higher end perfumes, this is a good way to do it with Dossier. I had a good experience both times. Obviously, I picked wrong with this powdery Hawthorne. That's my fault, right? But um, 
I would recommend it because it's worth it. It's like 30 bucks as opposed to 240 bucks or something, right? Um, and then if you really, really like it, you can make the decision if you want to invest in, in the real thing. And I've, I've seen some feedback where people actually like the, the, the inspirational fragrance better than the real thing. And so you just never know. You might find something you like and, you know, find a new luxury um, perfume that you could wear or be able to stick with one of these $30 ones and, and be just as good. So I recommend it. So the last thing I got was, you know, just way, way out there. It is from a company called Maley's and it says, oh, this is going to be fun. Um, and reason being it's going to be fun. These are all products um, to uplift the female body. And this one um, I purchased and it's part of, I don't, know, I don't even know how to describe this, but this one is, I'm just going to go with the product. Let's just talk about it. This is called the um, B Flat Firm Belly Cream. Um, it improve, helps improve cellulite appearance, minimize appearance of stretch marks. You guys probably know that for a very long time, I've been talking about the fact that I am uncomfortable with um, the appearance of stretch marks on my belly from um, childbirth. I've had this for a very, very long time and you would think that I would be used to it by now, but I am not. So I saw some video footage and some, uh, you know, testimonies of people who have tried this product and people are really happy with the results. So um, the more you order, the cheaper it is. So I decided to get um, a pack of three and hopefully, you know, this works. But it just, it, like I said, it, just, it firms up the skin. It, and I looked at the ingredients. These are all things that appear to be okay for the skin and for the body. Um, we'll have to see. Again, nice little beauty product. I know you guys, y'all rolling your eyes at me, aren't you? Um, this is what the product itself looks like. Um, well, I'll, like I said, I'll keep you posted. I'm going to use this, you know, every day. Um, and maybe 30 days from now, I'll have to let you know how, if it's making any improvement at all, I'll, maybe I'll do it before and after. I'll take pictures before I start. And then along the way, sort of how I did for my, um, skin on my face when I started, uh, with my own made up program for my skin. So we'll see how this works for the belly and, um, I'll give you my recommendations in 30 days, but I'm going to, I'm going to give it a shot again. Um, I've given myself all kinds of birthday gifts and this is one of them and uh, if it works that means it was worth it was worth the effort the time the money and then you will have learned something if uh, that's something you are interested in they also have um like butt firming stuff was it butt firming and and breast firming so the butt firming one is to lift your butt and remove the appearance of cellulite and then the breast one is to lift uh lift the breast um, so I, I don't really know about all those things. I'm not really concerned about that. It's just my belly that I was interested in. So that's why I got this one. So that brings us to the end of today's video. Hopefully that wasn't too long. I feel excited about all the things I got. I got some really cool things in this haul, I think. Um, let me know if you have any questions about anything. Again, I'll try to link as much as I can in the description box below. Um, share it with your friends. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Subscribe if you haven't already. Talk to you later. Thank you for coming. Bye.